Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Saturday, August 7th, 2021. All right, let's get started. This is a very interesting shaped grid. Kind of looks like a snake or something. All right, well, this is a Saturday, so we need to be on our toes for misdirection and the cluing. Let's start with one across here. Brings home. I wonder if this is about earning money. Hmm, it could be pulls down, maybe? That's way too long, though. Repress with up. Hmm, button up, maybe? I don't know if that's quite right. Moving on, an equivalent phrase. That could just be any way, possibly. Gets to the point, and this is indicated wordplay here. Um, is it about sharpening, maybe? Hmm. Tightness who abducted Orion. E I don't know. My mythology is not super great. Hmm. Certain sorority member. Is it like a rank or something? I don't know. I was never involved in fraternities or sororities, so that's kind of an alien environment. I don't know that much about it. One with key responsibilities. Another wordplay clue here. Hmm. It's not about someone with important responsibilities in general. It's got to be a pun on the word key here. I wonder if it's like a locksmith or maybe it's like, I don't know. I think maybe it has something to do with a musical key. Like, could it be an oboist? Hmm. Because they set the key in an orchestra, right? They tune the orchestra with the oboe. Hmm. I don't know. It could be with seven down disliking or at least feeling indifferent about. Hmm. Running freely. Boy, we just had no luck in this corner, did we? Let's see if we can build out, although it's gonna be really hard to build into this section. We've only got two possibilities here for help. Oh boy, that's a little dicey. Nah, thanks anyway, an equivalent phrase. It's not I'm good. Hmm. Waste at a winery. Hmm. Is this about stuff that ends up in the bottom of your glass, like stuff that didn't get filtered out in winemaking? I think there's a word for that. I am blanking on it now, though. Sumptuous. This is like luxurious and extravagant, right? Oh, boy. It's only four letters long, though. Groups involved in class actions for short. And this is wordplay again. Maybe this is PTAs. Is this the first answer we get to enter in the grid today? <laughs> okay. I mean, PTAs are involved in class actions, right? Classroom actions. Let's hope that's what it is. Who had a major part in the Torah? Another wordplay clue. Boy, I think we were a little light on wordplay yesterday, and this puzzle seems to be making up for it. A major part. Hmm. It's got to be a pun on this word major. I can't think of anything like in the Torah or the Bible that has to do with major. Hmm. Oil informally. It's not black gold. Oh, you know what? I think another nickname for oil is Texas tea. That's another really fun nickname. That's great. Okay. All right, we have a little bit of a foothold, finally, after five minutes. Um, maybe sumptuous could be lux. That's kind of another word for something luxurious, right? Waste at a winery. Yeah, still don't know that one. Blank Technica, tech review site. That's Ars Technica. That's like a riff on Ars Poetica. Okay. Bided one's time. 
Hmm. It's not sat in weight. Hmm. Bit of deception. There's so many possibilities here. Maybe this could be I'll pass. That's an equivalent phrase for thanks anyway, right? Okay. Hmm. Is it not into? Ooh, I forgot we had this cross clue. That's great that we get a little bit more help in here. <laughs> that might really save us. Okay, let's hope that's what that is. Um, typical wall colors could be neutrals. Hmm, this does not look familiar to me. L-E-E. -E. Huh. Is it Moses? And a major part. Oh, <laughs> the pun isn't on major. It's on part, right? Because Moses parted the Red Sea. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Well, I don't know if he parted it himself, but he had something to do with the parting of the Red Sea. That's great. That's a fantastic wordplay clue. Wow. All right. Well, hopefully the rest of the wordplay clues will be that much fun. That's fantastic. Uh, boy, it starts with sat. They can't be in weight, though. Hmm. Bit of deception. Hmm. Investment banker Samuel. Hmm. Is this somebody that a bank is named after? I want to say it is, probably. Hmm. Behavioral quirk. Could that be a tick, maybe? Yeah. I bet this is Sachs. I don't know that for sure, but there's an investment bank called Goldman Sachs, right? I think that's a pretty likely guess there. Here we go again in brackets. So this should be a nonverbal answer. Hmm. Maybe it's like erg or something, some kind of noise that you make when you're not happy about something. Hmm. Maybe this is slight, like slight of hand. Yeah, when you're kind of like palming something. All right. It is kind of looking like it's going to be some sort of expression of disgust. Hmm. Alternatives to wings. I don't really know. Is this like a meat thing? I bet it is. Um, would you look at that? And this is an exclamation point. So, hmm. This is something that you would look at. What is something that you would look at? That's so general. Would you look at that? Hmm. I mean, it just could be so many things. I don't even know where to start there. Model turned TV personality, Chrissy. Oh, geez. Uh, I don't know. Is there a Chrissy Teigen? I feel like I've seen that name before. I have no idea who that is, though. De Donde Blank? Spanish 101 query? Uh, oh boy. Well, I never took Spanish 101. Uh... I have no idea. I think Donde is where, right? But I have no idea what you would be asking about. Hmm, okay. Don't let the bed bugs bite. An equivalent phrase. Shouldn't that be sleep tight? T I G. Oh, no, that doesn't fit. Because it's sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite, right? That's the full phrase. Uh, hmm. Could it just be nighty night? Hmm. Yeah, because this is something you say to someone before they're going to bed. It was funny before we had the resurgence of bed bugs, and now it's just scary. <laughs> um, okay, so another wordplay clue here. Grand total. Grand has so many meanings. It could mean a thousand. Um... It could be like a grand piano, a grand parent. Hmm. We're going to need some more help on that one. 
Hybrid zoo animal? Hmm, could it be a liger maybe? A lion and a tiger? Insubstantial. I really want this to be light weight. Hmm. Maybe I spelled Tegan wrong? Let's hope so. Because it works with Nighty Night still. Yeah, let's just hope I reverse these vowels here. Six figures say. Um, it looks like it starts with high. I mean, if you make six figures, that's a pretty high salary, right? That's a pretty good guess, I think. Would you look at that? Is it just light? I mean, you need to kind of have light to look at anything. It does seem like this really wants to be an H. Uh, hmm. This is looking like it's gonna be sit tight, right? Bided one's time. This should be sigh. Yeah, I guess a sigh is kind of a non-verbal way of expressing here we go again, right? Okay, so sight. Would you look at that? Sight. Oh, okay, so it's not like your sense of sight. It's like a landmark or something worth stopping to take a look at, right? Like, let's see the sights. Okay, yeah. Would you look at that? You would look at a sight. Okay, very good. That took a little while to parse, but we finally got there. Wackadoodle? Hmm, that's another name for a weirdo, right? Okay, all right, we're making progress. We're sort of slowly snaking our way through. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna get this still. Composer of many Streisand show tunes. Hmm, so somebody in the musical business? Ah, my knowledge is pretty limited here. Descriptor for a superhero. Seems like Mighty should be good. We have tons of GHs. Look at this. We have one here, we have one here, we have one here, 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 and here. Oh my goodness, there's this huge string of them. It stops right here. Is this our little mini theme? It looks like we've got another one maybe going this way, right? Oh my goodness. This can't be an H here though. Afghans, e.g.? I think uh, there's a type of rug called an Afghan. Afghan rugs? Uh, well, we would want this to be a GH, right? If our GH mini theme is correct. We would want all of these to be GHs, although, hmm, it kind of stops here though. All right, maybe there's not as many on this side. Um, it almost looks like this ends in weight again, but I really doubt that's true because there's a weight right here. So maybe it's eight. It ends in eight. Hmm. Interesting. Period immediately following Y2K. That was the aughts, right? I always thought that was weird that they're called the aughts. Because ought means anything, right? Shouldn't they be the knots? Because not is nothing, right? I think that's so weird. They should be the knots. Anyway, that's just my little bugaboo. Um, no need to worry informally. It looks like it ends in right, right? Um, it's... Uh, no, it can't be it's all right. I'm all right? Why is that informally? It has to be informal somehow. One of the Gilmore Girls, oh boy. This show, I just fell in love with this show during the pandemic here. It really helped me get through those dark days. Okay, I know that is Lorelai. Um, Lorelai Gilmore, yeah, that was the mother. I mean, they're both named Lorelai Gilmore, but one is Lorelai and one is Rory. And then, so it does sort of look like all right, doesn't it? I guess it really shouldn't be I'm all right, though. There's nothing informal about that. Grand total. Hmm. 
Nighty night, lightweight. 88? Why would a grand total be 88? That really makes no sense to me. Hmm. Could this be an E? Who said the greatest scientists are artists as well? I mean, I've never heard this quote before, but if this was an E, it looks like Einstein would fit nicely, right? Hmm. Grand total, 88. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know what the pun is here. Maybe we can sit and think about that a little bit later. Uh-uh, an equivalent phrase. I really want this to be no siree. That would be great. This would be an S. It raised a major red flag, yeah. A red is in communist, and also literally red because their flag was red. The USSR. Very nice. Okay, that's a great clue. Awesome, slangily. Is it just hot? I don't know. Bed cover, that should be a duvet, right? Um, hmm, so V blank T, what could this be? Is this some newfangled slang that I haven't heard of? Well, if it was no siree, it would be Vit? This has to be lit, right? Maybe it's not duvet. Hmm, that's very tricky there because duvet fits very nicely. Um, hmm, <laughs> oh, is this a flower bed? Man, we really have to be on our toes for misdirection here. Mulch, that's great. I really like that misdirection. That's very, very devious there. Um, okay, the magpie and the wheat field for two. Monet's, I guess they could be paintings, sure, okay. Impressionist paintings. I guess we can put in no siree. That's looking really good. And that's a good sign for these acrosses. We have the first three letters already. Portion of an ad agency's budget. Hmm. Creative, probably? Yeah, if we're referencing Mad Men, there was the like accounts department, right? That would deal with a client and then the creative that would actually come up with the concepts and art and all that. Okay. Nice. Brand with a red star in its logo. That's Heineken, I think. Uh, how do you spell Heineken? I think it's like that, right? Yeah, that's the Dutch beer, right? Okay, what of it? An equivalent phrase could just be and. Back to back. Uh, I like the beginning of end. I want it to be end to end, although that doesn't really mean the same thing. Hmm, Hassenpfeffer, e.g.? Hassenpfeffer, that rings a bell. Isn't that like, don't they say that at the beginning of the Laverne and Shirley theme song? Hassenpfeffer Incorporated? What were they referencing there? Oh man, I'm a little too young. Okay, blank bar, that could be a tiki bar. They're ahead of their time. Is it Eve's, do you think? They're ahead of their time. I guess Christmas Eve is ahead of Christmas. It could be Eve's. Leaks of the Real Housewives of Atlanta. I have no idea. I've never watched any of those Real Housewives shows. Worker whose name anagrams to the person's output. Oh, this is great. Is this Steno? It's looking like Steno, right? And then a steno's output could be notes because they're taking notes. That's great. That's a very clever clue. That's a cool thing to notice about that word that it can anagram that way. Um, I have no, is it a stew? I don't know. Uh oh, and we're not going to get that. Maybe it's endwise. Nene leaks. A nene is a kind of bird too. Hmm, I guess it's possible. Endwise, back to back. Hmm, I don't know if that means the same thing. It would make this stew though. Hmm, let's leave that for now. 
gene pool. And this is indicated wordplay. It does start with DNA. That looks really good, but what would be the rest of it? DNA bank? Oh man, I have no idea. No bueno. So this has to be the word for bad in Spanish? Isn't that malo? Isn't malo bad in Spanish? Hmm. Specific. I don't know about that one either. The World Is Yours wrapper, 1994. Well, it's a three letter wrapper. I'm just gonna put in Nas and hope that that's right. These letters look okay together. Home to the world's tallest steel arch bridge. Hmm, S-Y? Steel arch bridge, hmm. Spot for some piercings. A-R? Hmm. I don't know about that. Oh boy, hmm. Palindromic term of address. Well, we just need the first of the last and we can get its pair. Dark Lord of Mordor in the Lord of the Rings. Uh, well, that was Sauron, right? He was the big bad in Lord of the Rings. Okay, so that gives us an S here, like we were hoping to get. Okay. Um, is it sis? Like sister? Passage that connects stories. Hmm, this seems like wordplay. Because this could be about like a passage in a building that connects the different stories of the building, but it could also be like a passage in a book that connects two stories together. I'm not sure which one is more likely. It's not Syria, that's too short. Hmm. DNA labs? to sleep. Boar, maybe? Hmm, I don't know about that. It's just under a foot? I don't know if this is going to be about the imperial measurement, the foot. I wonder if it's about something that would be under a person's foot? Like a sole on a shoe? Hmm. I don't know. It would be an eye if it was cis, right? Maybe it's an insole. Yeah, that could be, like inside of a shoe. Um, is it DNA bank? Is that right? SK, hmm. This would be a B, put to sleep. Oh, this has that tricky word put in it. It could be present tense, but it can also be past tense. So maybe it could be bored, past tense. And then this could be Sydney, right? Oh, and then this is an areola. Okay. Yes, you could get pierced there. Um, okay, so specific could be narrow. Uh, is this just lousy? This is not in Spanish. I guess, I guess people say no bueno as like a slang term in English. That's a little weird though that it's not in Spanish here. Um, I mean, no bueno maybe is not grammatically correct Spanish, and maybe that's a giveaway, but I don't know Spanish well enough to be able to pick up on that, so maybe that's the trick on this one. And then this could be a skyway. It is about stories in a building. Okay. It would be in two separate buildings. And then we did get DNA bank. Nice. Okay. Oh, man. We've got these two really dicey sections here, though. Yikes. Okay. Well, let's come back to that. We got a little bit of help here. Thankfully, Lorelai showed up. Um, I'm all right. Oh man, it just, I really don't want to put that in because it just does not feel informal enough. This would be an M. Running freely. Hmm, and this would be an I. Yeah, I mean, it does seem like it should start with I at least. Something in brings home. It's not rakes in. It's not pulls in. Hmm. 
what did we think this was going to be? An oboist? <laughs> oboist? Does that make sense? Maybe it does. We need all the help we can get. Moving on. Hmm. This is not button up. Jeez. I, I, I'm having such a hard time even thinking of a three letter mythological goddess. Um, is it like Ios or something? Is this a plural? Gets to the point. I mean, it seems pretty likely that this is an S because it's kind of present tense. So maybe it is Ios. Uh, this would be two O's at the end. That should be any who, shouldn't it? Oh my God, yeah, I think that's so good. I really hope that's right. Anywho, boy, just putting that O in, in our mind, having the two O's really kind of gave that away. Um, maybe it's Eos with an E. I think that's a goddess too, or a Titaness maybe. Hmm, I still don't know this sorority member. This is not Oboist. Um, this Y is interesting though. Key responsibilities. Hmm. Brings home. This should be an S here because it's present tense again, right? Hmm. Does that help here? Oh, we haven't even looked at this. Holsts the planets for one. Hmm. I mean... It's probably a piece of music, right? I just had a thought about this key responsibilities wordplay clue. Could it be typist? I guess you'd have key responsibilities. You'd be responsible for using the keys to type, right? I wonder if it's it's all right. I don't know if this is actually like proper English spelling all right this way. I mean, you see it all the time, but maybe that's why it's informally. Um, okay, so maybe that'll help. This is probably just a Greek letter actually, isn't it? Yeah, a certain sorority member. Um, the only thing I can think of off the top of my head that would fit would be Theta, although... Yeah, oh my god, is it bottle up? <laughs> Oh my god, that would have helped so much if we had just thrown that in. Okay, so maybe it is theta. And then, uh, hmm. Gets to the point could just be tapers, maybe. You're literally just going to a point of your tapering. Oh, this is baseball. How did I miss this? Brings home is bats in. I just, I couldn't stop thinking about bringing home money. And that just blinded me to seeing the baseball meaning of home. Yeah. So maybe this is a suite? I think that's kind of like a musical like set of songs or pieces, right? So what would this mean? On auto, running freely. Like it's on autopilot? I guess so, yeah. Okay. All right, so that just leaves us with these two nasty sections here. I think this has to be 88. I don't know why it's 88. Hopefully the goose can fill us in. Um, and then uh, maybe it's auras. De donde auras? Uh, I think that's, uh, I don't know. I thought donde was where, it could be what maybe. Um, yeah, and then aura, I think, is like time. It's like hour. So maybe this is like, what time is it? Like, what hour is it? That's going to be my kind of best educated guess here. Steino? Oh, geez. That sounds really bad. It seems like Stein would be a lot better. Shoot. Oh, man. All right. Well, let's just put in endwise. I think back to back and endwise do sort of make sense. Like if you lay things endwise, they're like ends are touching. And that could also mean back to back, right? So let's put in 
Stu and Nene, and hopefully this all somehow magically will be right. All right, let's give it a shot. Yeah, okay. Let me see if I can track down our mistake or mistakes, and I'll get back to you once I get everything untangled. Oh, we didn't talk about this when we got it filled in. Lees, I do think that's kind of like the grit and stuff that didn't get filtered out after making wine. Yeah, I think it's like sediment at the bottom of the wine. Okay, all right, back to trying to find the mistake. Oh man, I have been plugging away at this thing for a while. I just, I think the mistake has to be here somewhere, but I ran the alphabet on both of these letters and that means we still have another mistake. I wonder if it's this name, Tegan, because I don't actually know how to spell this. Um, maybe it's Tegan with an E here and then could this be Stein with an E and this could be De Donde Eres? I still don't know what that would mean, but it sounds like something that could be a Spanish word. Let's see if that does it for us, and then that would give us Stein, a much more plausible name than Steino. Alright, let's give this a shot. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> well, we got in under an hour at least. I think that was about, I don't know, almost half an hour of trying to find this mistake. Chrissy Teigen, I almost feel like that mistake has cropped up in another puzzle in the past. Yeah, I just don't know her and I don't know how to spell her name. I was close, but then that really screwed up this Spanish because I don't really know Spanish very well. I don't know what this means. Um, I wonder if this is like, what is that? I don't know. It could be a bunch of different things. I just don't know. And then I didn't recognize this name either. So this little section here was just so nasty. I think probably for most people, it won't be a problem because they'll know what this is. I'm sure this is a very basic Spanish word, but yeah, for me, boy, that was really tricky. These two unknown names crossed by a Spanish word that I don't know. All right, but apart from that, I think this was a really fun puzzle. We had a lot of great wordplay in the puzzle today. We had key responsibilities for typist, crossing gets to the point for tapers, which are both very good. I liked this PTA's clue. This was nice, class actions. I think the wordplay of the puzzle though is Moses for his major part. That was just such a fantastic little hidden reference in this word part. I also liked this misdirection in mulch for bed cover. That was really good. It was also nice to have the kind of variety in cluing that we had today. We had an exclamation point clue. Those are pretty rare, so I like when those show up. And we also had a bracket clue. Those are also rare. And they were even intersecting, so that was really nice for a difficult Saturday puzzle. I also really liked Texas tea. That's just such a fun phrase. And then we had this weird GH mini theme. This cannot be an accident. We've got three over here and five over here, these diagonal stacks of GHs. What a weird little quirk. What a funny Saturday puzzle this was. I enjoyed it though. It, with this nasty little unknown proper noun area accepted, this was a really fun solve. Oh yeah, we had this nice red flag misdirection too. Yeah, I really enjoyed this one a lot and I hope you enjoyed solving this one along with me. All right, I'm gonna be coming back at you tomorrow for the nice long lazy Sunday solve. And I think that's gonna do it for now. All right, I'll see you next time.